Dream to become the next Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein? Learn physics from Rashid Al-Bari. Let's start today's remote learning with Do Now. Scenario one. And I have scenario two. In scenario one, I have a two sphere, two metal sphere. This metal sphere is charged. And I have another metal sphere. And this metal sphere is uncharged. Okay, this metal sphere is, the, the, the black one is charged and the blue one is uncharged. Now for scenario two, I'm gonna have same thing. I'm gonna have the black one is charged and the blue one is uncharged. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna put as something over here, some type of object over here. I'm not gonna give you the name, but the consequence would be that the blue one would become charged. That would be the result. The result of Conduction, the result of touch, connecting them by an object. So what is the name of this array object? What is the name of this array object? All right, now, I will do the same thing. I'm going to connect this two by another object, which I won't give you the name. I'm going to use the green. I'm going to connect it both by green. Now, what would be the consequences? What would be the result of connecting them by green? Nothing. Is it still remain uncharged? So there is no consequence. What is the name of this green? This green object. All right, now pause the video. Do the brainstorm and write down the answer. Now pause the video and try your own. Okay, now I'm going to give you the answer. This red object is a conductor. A uh, nail. This green object is insulator. So this an example of insulator is wood. So electron can transfer through the conductor. That's why this blue became charged. Electron, however, cannot transfer through an insulator. That's why this blue remain uncharged all right so we know that there are charges but how do we prove it how can you prove charges exist all right it started these questions was first kind of asked by someone named tails so Tails, he was Greek, the year was 600 BC, 
he used the amber all right and the second person now it is uh, we use electroscope now this is the tree resin now now we're gonna uh, the, we are using electroscope now electroscope first electroscope was invented by someone named William Gilbert so William Gilbert he was British the year was 1600 of course a C and he called it pivoted needle that how that's how it was look like the most sophisticated one was invented by uh, Abraham Bennett lots of E in his name British uh, 1800 I see most exactly is actually 1798 but remember 1800 I see that that's, that's good all right now I'm gonna we raise this one to make a room so that's how so he called it gold on leaf I do not have gold leaves I do have a go uh, the aluminum foil we say found it in my kitchen so, so <laughs> this is what aluminum foil is how can i put it here do i have all right so now this is as sophisticated that i can make it uh in the in in my home quarantine <laughs> now i'm going to show you how electroscope works using Abraham Bennett electroscope. So let's go. Like the do now, I'm gonna have two scenarios. I'm gonna call it scenario one and scenario two. All right. In scenario one, I have section one, section two, and section probably three. I have a charged rod which is positively charged okay and i have an electroscope and i have electroscope somewhere which is uncharged which is neutral now what can i do I'm gonna bring them close to each other. That's what I can do. This is section A, section B. I'm gonna bring them close to each other. I have the electroscope. I'm gonna bring them very close to each other. Make it red. Make it red. Make it red. I'm gonna bring them close to each other. So now my 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 rod i'm gonna bring it close to each other very close to each other but not touching it all right so what would be the consequences what would be the result that's what we're gonna write over here the result would be all right here would be the result we're gonna draw the result right here it's very exciting now this is gonna be this is gonna be now this is very close to each other the aluminum foil or the gold foil the lips are very close to each other now they're not going to be close to each other apart they repel so repel each other why why is that is because now i have this over here very close to very close but not touching of course plus 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 now what would happen? All the negative are gonna move because negative blocks positive. So all the negative gonna be very close to the positive, leaving all the positive over here and making it repulsive. Okay? 
So that would be the consequence. Now, what are we gonna call it? What Michael or Faraday call it? What, what, what do we call it? What is the name of it? Uh, scenario A, I have electroscope, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, and I have a rod somewhere, which is also positively charged. Okay, what can I do? I'm gonna beam it close to each other? No, I'm gonna make them touch each other. All right, so let's make them touch each other. All right, so I have, see, we remember this also gonna be a part as much as possible. Why is that? Because now this red rod gonna be glass rod gonna be touching the electroscope. And know that this glass rod is positively charged. Now, if this one touch it, then what happened? Well, what happened actually, the negative gonna be here, okay? And positive gonna be here, making it all repel each other. Now you wanna say, well, this and this look same. Well, then let's make it scenario number C. Then you will see that they are not actually the same. Scenario number C. What gonna you do, scenario number C? Scenario number C, you remove the rod. Okay? So you remove the rod. If you remove the rod, what happened? So you have this plus 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 minus 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 because there is a rod. But if you remove the rod, what happened? This go back to, this go back to what? This go back to the original state. Untarsed. This go back to untarsed. All right. So this one is polarized. This is, all right. So now what is the name of it? Okay. What is the characteristic? What is the characteristic? All right, what is the characteristic? Now, you remove it. What happened? Let's see. This is scenario B. This is scenario, of course, C. In scenario C, let's see. You have this sophisticated aluminum foil electroscope. And this is plus, this is plus, this is plus, this is minus, this is negative, this is negative, negative, this is negative, because there is a red rod touching it. Now, now, you remove the red rod. What happened? This will stay the same. It will stay the same. So what do you call it? What is the name? The name of this phenomena. All right. So let's give you the answer. The name of this phenomena is charged by induction. Charged by induction. The characteristic is is polarized. This charge by induction means charge by not touching. Not touch. This one is, what is the name of this phenomena? The name of this phenomena is conduction. Or by touching. Let's finish today's remote learning with an exit slip. I'm gonna make it a little tricky for you, all right? The, the, we're gonna call it scenario number three. This slip is just scenario number three. I'm gonna make it a little tricky for you, okay? So first we saw that you bring a positive charge, a positive glass rod, uh, rod to an electroscope, which is actually 
I don't know, is it actually a neutral in, in, now? Let's flip the coin. Now this time I'm gonna have I'm gonna be a negatively charged object close to and 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 then the and then there is this is this is scenario A. This is positive positive positive. This is positively charged electroscope. Now if you bring them close to each other, what would be the result? Positive, 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 and you bring them close to each other. Very close to each other. This is negative, negative, negative. You bring them close to each other. This is the negatively charged object. You bring them close to each other. So what would be the consequences? Remember, they have to be part because they are uh, they are a repulsive force because both are the like charges. All right, so make it uh, as obvious as possible you can because they are repulsive charges. Now, what would be the consequences? The consequences would be like that. So this is the consequences. Negative, negative, negative. The consequence, well, pause the video and draw the consequences. Now pause the video and try your own. All right, you done? Now let's check the answer room. All right, now they are not gonna be repulsive is because now this was the initial state. Now what would happen? This is gonna be more positive. Why? Is because a negative, the two extra negative gonna move down because there is negative, negative don't look negative, negative don't like negative. So the negative one gonna come over here and that makes it more positive all right so then that's why they are they're gonna be very close to each other subscribe to bari science lab to fall in love with math and science especially programming